We often ask ourselves what is the nature of past, present and future. To many, it is just a mere philosophical question, but the answers discussed in the realm of physics may have profound implications in our understanding of nature itself. One of many answers can be presented when studying a peculiar quantum mechanical effect, namely the quantum eraser. Hello, we are physics master students at the University of Rijeka. With this video, we would like to introduce a very fascinating experiment that we encountered while studying the quantum mechanics, the quantum eraser. One of many answers can be presented when studying a peculiar quantum mechanical effect, namely the quantum eraser. The quantum eraser possesses arguably one of the strangest features of quantum mechanics, changing our everyday interpretation of past events. The astonishing experimental results presented by Kim and his colleagues in 1999 which were proposed by Scully and Drul in 1982, seem to invoke the so-called backwards-in-time influence. Consequently, physicists were obliged to contemplate the nature of causality. Before we describe the experiment, let us first remind ourselves of the fundamental principle of quantum mechanics, complementarity. Specific pairs of observables, like position and momentum, are called complementary. Their mutual behavior is governed by the famous Heisenberg uncertainty principle, which briefly says, the better we know the position of the particle, its momentum is determined with greater uncertainty, and vice versa. The double slit experiment was proven to be a good testing ground for the above mentioned. The famous physicist Richard Feynman was also intrigued by the study of the double slit experiment, which was famously noted in his statement. It is absolutely impossible to explain in any classical way and has in it the heart of quantum mechanics. In reality, it contains the only mystery. The standard double slit experiment consists of sending particles through a double slit apparatus, resulting in an interference pattern on a screen behind. The interference pattern will only be generated if each particle traverses both slits. This demonstrates the wave-particle duality clearly, which states that all matter exhibits both wave and particle properties. But if the particle detectors are positioned at the slits, showing through which slit photon or atomic particle goes, the interference pattern will disappear. Why, you may ask? Well, it is impossible to make measurements on the corresponding wave function without disturbing it. The disturbance destroys the interference pattern, and what we effectively see on the screen are two blobs. Here presented the version of the double slit experiment where you can determine through which slit quantum entity passed is called which way experiment. Another type of double slit experiment considers placing detectors on the far side of the two slit apparatus. It was named delayed choice by John Wheeler. Contrary to the popular belief, the standard interpretation of the described events may not always be the full truth. It turns out that there is a way to bypass the Heisenberg's principle and to successfully obtain the which particle or particle-like information without destroying the interference. This is exactly the job of the quantum eraser. To be clear, the interference is gone once we determine which slit the particle went through and it reappears when which path information is erased. Let's now take a closer look at the delayed choice double slit experiment. After a photon from a laser beam passes through the slits A or B, it hits a special type of crystal, barium borate. This crystal is responsible for the absorption of the incoming photon and the emergence of two new photons that are fundamentally connected in some strange way. This rather strange quantum entity is what we call an entangled pair. Bear in mind that each photon in this pair has the half energy of the original incoming photon. One photon of the pair, a signal photon for that matter, is sent towards the detector D0, or the interference screen, and the other, other photon is used to determine the which way information about the original incoming photon. It is important to emphasize 
the detector D0 cannot distinguish whether the original photon came from one slit or another. The function of detectors D1 and D2 is to record the information whether the original photon passed through the slit A or B. So, the D1 lights up when the original photon passes slit A and vice versa. Running the same procedure for an ensemble of photons, we get a pile of photons on the screen D0, where no interference pattern is seen. To sum up, it seems that the obtained which way information by the detectors somehow influences the wave function of the photon retroactively and therefore its position on the screen. Let's add detectors D3 and D4 as well as beam splitters and see how our experiment is changed. The idler photon heads off to one of the beam splitters BS. All beam splitters in this experiment have a 50-50 chance to transmit or reflect incident photon, so we have introduced new possibilities. When the photon is transmitted through the beam splitter, it travels to mirrors M. After reflection at one of the mirrors, the photon arrives at BS. If an idler photon came from the lower mirror, the beam splitter either transmits the photon into detector D4 or reflects it into detector D3. Similarly, for an idler photon that came from the upper mirror, the beam splitter either transmits it into detector D3 or reflects it into detector D4. So when one of the detectors D3 or D4 record incoming photon, it is impossible to tell which slit the original photon came from. We can say that this beam splitter brings the photon into a superposition of being reflected and transmitted. And what happens on the screen? Surprisingly, we see the interference pattern. The detectors D3 and D4 are in charge of erasing the which path information, while the detectors D1 or D2 provide which path information about both the um, idler and the signal photon. In other words, when we detect through which slit quantum entity went through, we can certainly say that it went through one, no both slits, but when we measure its momentum, we cannot know which slit was transversed. Performing many momentum measurements on the quantum ensemble, we can see the interference pattern, meaning that the quantum entity passed through both slits, otherwise interference would not be possible. It can be concluded that we have successfully constructed the quantum eraser and analyzed its main goal to erase information, indicating which path particle traveled and restoring indistinguishability, therefore making the interference possible even through the pattern on the screen was already formed before deciding whether to erase the information or not. So, the question is, does quantum eraser send information back in time? Hmm, the answer to this troubling question can perhaps be found in different interpretations of quantum mechanics. The generally accepting Copenhagen interpretation conventionally avoids non-locality as an explanation for the alternation of the entangled particle wave function by a distant measurement, substituting it by a rather unnatural postulate metaphysical explanation, namely an instantaneous collapse of the wave function. A more appropriate interpretation when analyzing the delayed choice double slit experiment may be the Brawley-Bohm pilot's wave uh, theory, 
where um, non-locality, hidden variables and determinants play the central role. As it can be shown in hidden variable approach, the many questions posed here are result. In this interpretation, the quantum entities have well-defined trajectories and uh, conventional, conventional um, way of thinking about the past is restored. Does this result mean that present choice influence past dynamics in contravention of every formulation of causality? Or does it mean calculate pedantically and do not ask questions? Neither. The lesson presents itself rather like this, that the past has no existence except as is recorded in the present. To conclude, the above explained experimental setup showed us how, by the erasure of which way information, we can restore the interference pattern, even after the observation of the quantum entity. But there is no need to invoke retrocausality to explain the delayed choice experiment. The many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics has a simple answer without traveling in time. After all, it seems that we are stuck in the eternal debate over many different interpretations, falling short to drive ourselves to appropriate a conclusion. Nevertheless, the delayed choice quantum eraser is a useful thought experiment to contemplate the fascinating role of entanglement and complementarity in quantum physics. This video was presented by Lara, Emma, Julia and Doris, master students at the Department of Physics, University of Rijeka.